Socotra is known for its clear waters and serene environment. But its strategic location is creating tensions between nations that up to now have been allies. Yemen's UN-recognized government has accused the United Arab Emirates of sending around 100 separatist troops to Socotra. Critics say it's an attempt to undermine the local government and ultimately annex the Yemeni island. Um, we Yemenis usually speak about how the United Arab Emirates want to have Aden and Socotra and transform it into another uh, Dubai. So they kind of had this conflict as a pretext to really uh, serve their own economic interests. Socotra lies close to the northeastern coast of Africa and Yemen's mainland, a key intersection of global shipping routes. The island, which is a World Heritage Site, also has a military airbase. Reports of separatist troops arriving on the island were met with criticism. Yemen's interior minister said the UAE should concentrate on the joint fight against Houthi rebels, not on sharing administrative powers of the island. This is not the first time there's been tension over Socotra. Last year, the UAE sent troops and military equipment to the island, but it denies accusations that it was part of a broader plan to take over the territory. Yemen is bogged down in a four-year war between the internationally recognized government led by President Abrabu Mansur Hadi and Houthi rebels who've taken over the capital, Sana'a. The UAE is part of the Saudi-led coalition that's backing the government in its fight against Houthis. Now with new tension between allies, Yemenis living on Socotra are hoping the island doesn't become a new battleground. Katia Lopez-Sudoyan, Al Jazeera.